and then mop up one area in the south was the start and after that was done mop up in the north. The division would follow behind occupied terrain. We would train the division um, in situ in defensive positions etc. Um, but we were never allowed to execute the entire operation. So in mon one month we took back terrain larger than Belgium from Boko Haram. We were not allowed to finish because it came at a time when governments were in the process of changing. I think President Jonathan's government um, possibly saw the entire um, Boko Haram contract, if we call it that, uh, almost as a, as a last gasp in order to regain popularity. The incoming president, President Buhari, was heavily supported by a foreign government and one of the first missions was to terminate our contract. Could you name that foreign government? Yes, we were told it was the United States um, and they had actually funded President Buhari's campaign. Um, the campaign manager for President Buhari came from the US um, and I'm not saying that the United States is bad, I understand foreign interests, um, but I would have thought that a, a, a threat such as Boko Haram on the integrity of the state of Nigeria ought to be actually a priority. It wasn't. Why do you think the US would intervene to abort such operation? Again, I can't answer that. I think that the US can answer, but what I've come to realize that is when a, a government's foreign interests clash with the state's own domestic interests, conflict is bound to ensue. And those conflicts usually just continue with no end. And we can look at all the conflicts in Africa where foreign forces have come in, they've prolonged those conflicts, they haven't ended those conflicts. And the amount of money and manpower and equipment thrown at those conflicts says to me that something is wrong if no end result is achieved. And surely that end result should be to end the conflict and establish a basis for negotiations come to an agreement and then re-establish governance. But that's not what's happening in Africa. How much did you charge the Nigerian government? Well, first of all, we didn't charge the Nigerian government. And I think, yeah, that is a question the Nigerian government can answer. We were one subcontractor. So in other words, the Nigerian government appointed a contractor and we contracted to that contractor as their subcontractor. So I think that's all I'll say. If you're really interested in the figures, that's for the Nigerian government to discuss.